Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, so just a quick note before we continue. If you require any additional support, please visit 3minutemaths.co.uk. You can search for any GCSE maths topic or search by grade. And if you click on any of the links, that will take you through to a particular post. So this one is how to answer maths indices questions. There are links through to the questions, the answers, and a walkthrough video as well. You can also remain on the YouTube channel and all of the resources are within the YouTube channel and descriptions below each of the videos. Hope that's useful to you. Okay, so in this particular video we're being asked to make f the subject of this particular equation. So I've got d equals 3 times 1 minus f all over f minus 4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by f minus 4. So on the left hand side I get d times f minus 4 and that equals 3 times 1 minus f because effectively if I multiply both sides by f minus 4 I lose the denominator on the right hand side. Okay so let's now expand these brackets. I'm going to get df minus 4d equals 3 minus 3f. Okay, so the problem is, is that if I want to make f the subject of the formula, I need to make sure that both the terms that contain f, i.e. this one and this one, are on the same side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that minus 3f and put it on the left hand side because I want it to be a positive value. So I'm going to have df plus 3f and that's perfectly fine. The issue I've got now is I've got the minus 4d which I need to get rid of so I'm going to put that on the right hand side so that's going to give me 3 plus 4d. Okay so that's looking a little bit better and really the trick now with these particular types of questions is to factorize for the subject that we're looking for. So in this case if I factorize for f I'm going to get d plus 3 and that still equals 3 plus 4d and then really it's just a case of dividing both sides through by d plus 3 so I'm going to get f equals 3 plus 4d all over d plus 3 and that's the answer to that particular question. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.